What's up, guys? Welcome back to VHB Engines. And so the question is, did I, in fact, get a new camera? Well, <laughs> the answer is, no, 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 I didn't. I, I didn't get a new camera. Am I using a different camera? Yeah. Do I think the quality is going to be better? I hope so. <laughs> this is a test for that. This is actually what I'm doing right now. It is primarily a test and also an excuse to not be in the house right now. My wife made new friends. A whole bunch of them came at the same time. We're all standing in the kitchen. It's crowded. So, uh, <clears throat> the schedule for me today was to record the MR2 video so that way I could take my time with editing tomorrow and post it up. But then I decided, fuck it, uh, it's a good excuse to be outside here playing with my K20. So I was going to be like, yeah, let me come out here, put that crank in. And then I started looking all over the fucking place. And I'm like, well, where's my fucking engine assembly loop that I've had for like two years? Same bottle. Uh, it's gone because apparently I did not bring it with me. So I have to go to auto parts to buy engine assembly lube. And as you can see here, I just did that recently. So, you know, I'm not really looking forward to rushing to go back up there and get some more shit to buy when I'm already on the rails here for my last dollars. So what I decided to do instead was to take some test footage with this, uh, with this camera. And I figured also that I would come up here and save myself on some time for the build uh, tomorrow or the night after, rather, that I was going to come out here and clean up the girdle, get it all prepped, clean up the main bearings because I hadn't done that, clean out the fucking main bolts because I hadn't done that. And uh, let me just look at this again. Because, man, I think this is going to be good footage here because this is that fucking shit. I'm looking at it, and it looks shiny as fuck. But then I'm not really going to be able to tell until I um, get this shit on the computer and edit it. Yeah, so anyway... Uh, well, hopefully I got your attention for a little bit, guys, here. And uh, while I got your attention, I'm trying to, try to set up the stand. Selfie stick, go. Okay. While I got your attention, uh, I talked to you guys real quick about some stuff. Um, so because of my stockpile, my small stockpile, as I've pointed out to you guys several times, uh, I, I was a little worried that when I finished this cave block that I wasn't really going to have much to go over. Uh, I, I know I have my B18 that I want to do the high compression build on, but then I was thinking maybe I'm going to have to buy my my piston press again. That's 100 bucks just to do that build, plus i got to buy parts and all that shit. And I was kind of hesitant on maybe, maybe uh, if I, even if I do do it, you know, it's going to be relatively quick and something that you've kind of seen before. I've never built a straight up stock B18. I've done forged and that GSR one, but uh this isn't going to be a straight B18 either. It's going to be B16 pistons. So anyway, <laughs> what I decided to do today at work in between phone calls and emails was just jot down a list of things that I can do uh, afterwards, things that I have already in my possession that I can work on and make footage off of. And if you go to Instagram or if you go on the Facebook, you see that that list is actually a lot bigger than I imagined it was going to be. It's, it's really big. And... A lot of that shit in there on the list is stuff that won't be one day. It'll be several days, several takes before that particular part of the project is done. So the good thing is, guys, it's not all engine builds, but a lot of it still is. And I'm going to have content to go regardless of whether I buy anything for a good while yet. Um, on the better news, uh, my wife just locked in a job tonight. So she starts sometime next week. And with her starting to work, that frees up her car payment out of my budget 400 bucks immediately comes free plus i know she's gonna kick in on the fucking groceries and shit so if i can potentially save 600 dollars a month and what am i gonna do with that six fucking hundred dollars i'll buy car stuff <laughs> so uh also another little bit of news that i felt like i'd share early is that uh something i played with for a lot of times you know i've always thought going into business for myself doing uh doing the automotive stuff but like I've mentioned also, that shit's it's not really it's not very easy. I don't you know, I mean you guys see how many days it takes me to go out and put together an engine, which isn't very difficult 
compared to working on a car for way little payoff. So I never, I decided not too long ago or a couple of years ago that I wasn't ever going to do the shop thing like for cars. But then I played with the idea of doing parts. And uh, yeah, so I didn't really know exactly how to do it. You know, do what some of these guys do, buy eBay parts, set it up in a fucking little booth. But uh, what I decided was to kind of take a combination of what I've been doing already and what I've seen other people do, uh, shout out to Genesis Automotives and, and down in uh, North Lauderdale and uh, RPM out in El Paso, Texas, you know, and uh, various other shops I've seen where you get stuff that you work with on a regular and you rebrand it. And uh, what I figured is, is that a lot of you guys, the most common question I have from you guys is, what parts should I use for my build? Even after I've made that video, I still get that a lot. Now, 99% of the guys now who recently asked me that, when I tell them to watch that video, the question goes away and I'll get a comeback and the view count goes up. So I appreciate that for you guys that have watched it and paid attention. Uh, not that I'm trying to go around not answering your question, but usually it's a big list of things and that big list of things is covered in that video. But anyway, so me, me opening up a part shop, which would be here at home, uh, would help help you guys. I know, I know everybody wants to put together a list, run it by me before they buy anything, and that's understandable. I'd be the same way too if I didn't know. You're spending a lot of money on these parts. You want to make sure that the parts you're buying are right. So I figure what I could do, what I've always wanted to do anyway, is stockpile engine parts, like you know, forge, forge internal stuff like that, uh, aftermarket engine parts, and uh, also gaskets of shit like that that I use, bearings that I use, and eventually go back into doing what I, what I once played with doing one before was uh, stockpiling engines like I normally do and I'll have some engines that are just bare blocks that'll be painted, cleaned, honed, ready to go so I can sell short blocks, bare short blocks that are prepped already to be built like the decks cleaned up and all that shit you just build it or uh, I can have a couple of stock engines laying around that I'll you know, have rebuilt for sale and maybe one or two forged in, uh, you know, forged internal engines. Now, this isn't going to be something that will be fast, but this is definitely 120% something that I really want to do. Now that my wife is locked in on the job, I'm for sure, for sure going to be doing this. And like I've mentioned in, uh, in previous videos, I'm going to be moving outside of Honda. Also, it's not going to be 100% Honda anymore. Um, uh, so I'm going to have various stuff. But anyway, the whole thing is it's about the having parts that I use. For you guys who want to do like your own builds and stuff, you get like a beginner kit set up for me. Uh, what I'll do is I'll buy all the parts that I normally use. I'll put a little bit of markup on it because, you know, i got to make some kind of money. But it won't be too much. It'll be manageable. Maybe like 20 bucks added on to it, you know, just for or for whatever cost of shipping. And then maybe a little bit of markup on it. So that way I can still keep some kind of profit. But, it may, you know, but still keep the price manageable. And for some of you guys... Um, I'll build a kit, you know, the, the pistons, the rods, the bearings, gaskets, the block, all that shit that you would want to use, or I can, you know, make different different kind of packages for you guys, you know, depending on what you need or what you want. Uh, and if nobody goes for that idea, then it's okay, fine, I still want to stockpile a shit anyway, so that way I don't have to pick an engine and then go buy the parts, wait for them to show up. I, from now on, it'll be like, or for hopefully in the near future, it'll be... Pick an engine, go to my shelf, pick up some parts, go. You know, that's the way I've always wanted it to be. But now I think, you know, with, with the wife taking on the work, plus, you know, my factor in MRAs, I will finally have the funds free to be able to do this. And as soon as my fucking truck is up, which hopefully will be next month, I will be doing the double time on going out around and buying engines. I'm going to go so buy some Nissan engines, go buy that American muscle engine, and I probably will be taking some trips down to Virginia to buy engines. I will also be, and I'll definitely be on the block, on the market again for blown blocks, uh, blown head gaskets. So that way I can rebuild the stockpile I had when I was in Miami and uh, have that shit ready for you guys to go. Or just have it here ready for builds in the future. Alright, so this is something quick. Uh, I did schedule out a, a video plans. I have, I have a, the MR2 video scheduled for to, to drop tomorrow night. And um, I have the, another feature video that I have planned that's dropping on Friday. And uh, the engine build video should be out by Sunday. Alright guys, as always, I appreciate you watching. 
Um, <laughs> something I'll add from now on. You can watch the uh, watch the Engine Assembly playlist above. Watch the recent recent video that came out below uh, to check out for the feature videos, which is probably the video is going to be there right now. And if you haven't already, click subscribe. Thanks guys for watching. Peace.